Hey guys, this is a new tutorial from me, IKGFX, so, yeah, um, today I'll be showing you how to make a pretty cool intro, so, um, yeah, start out by, um, going here, choose, go to the, choose spot, spline text, usually I do mo graph, text object, mo text, but whatever, but here I like to use, it's better for this, then get your extrude nerves, obviously, now drag your text until the arrow's pointing down into the extrude nerves, like that. Now change the text to anything you want. I'll just choose IKGFX and I'll change the font to Hold on, my computer's really slow with fonts for some reason, I don't know why. Come on. My real name's Hayden by the way. Like H A Y D N, just in case you were wondering. And now it says not responding, so hopefully it opens up. There we go. You could choose any font you want, it do it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'll just look for I'll just Choose Batman Forever. I don't know why I have this font. Whatever, so that, that's pretty cool. Okay, now I'll do that. And now here, um, you go to do your render settings like usual. Um, um, 1280 by 720 AVI movie with an Intel Intel IU vec codec or uh, compressor or whatever. And go to effect. It's the third to last one. Sketch and tune. It's really cool. And here, and here. And set go make sure it's on not mean make sure put it on shading go to object change shading to background this makes it like an outline like it won't be filled in now here um sometimes don't make sure it's on advanced not simple or intermediate advanced and here you could choose any one of these these are really cool see just like look um you choose any one puts it like a, this one you can't really see but whatever, it's, it's marker Copic, but today let's just use pen stripes. I don't, I've never seen this one before, but let's just see it now. That's pretty cool. Okay, now here's how to, here's how to make the intro. You have, you have, this has to be on, um, this has to be on, what's it called for, uh, has to be on advanced for you to do it. Go to animate, check the draw box. Here, now you just choose what frame it starts on. But let's say you don't. Let's say you don't want it to end right away. Like you want it to. Let's let's say you want like the people to see it for a second. Go to draw speed and change and change it from animation end to end frame. Here now let's say you want it to be. I'm starting it at 20 frames because so like you have like a two thirds of a second before it starts. So now look, it just started. Like it's starting to draw. It's so let's see. Now there's a little more into it. And this is really cool for like intros or anything and um I'll put the final product project in the in the video when I'm done. Okay, so here that's pretty cool. And um that's it. And I'll probably be doing a vector motion blur tutorial soon, so stay tuned.